There's these funny rock carvings. They look a bit like this. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption video. When I first played through Red Dead Redemption 2, I did geology for beginners, but I didn't record the playthrough. Now, on this second playthrough, I'm doing a little more documenting of what I've done and the missions. Hopefully, they will help other people out. But this is going to be a pretty extensive video. Not only do you get the initial mission, but then I'm going to show you where all the rock carving locations are and hopefully then wrap it all up in a decent amount of time. So let's get on with geology for beginners. Well, what's eating you, partner? Eating me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll dry up. What? See, I'm, uh... Hey, can I ask you a strange question? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the level. I don't have a clue what you just said. Well, I'm sorry, sport. Uh, there's these funny rock carvings. They look a bit like this. Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is, I sort of, like, really badly have to find all of them. Now, it's sort of a puzzle thing to me. Eh, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the up and up, and it's really important. Little rock carvings. Yeah, exactly, little rock carvings. What do you want to do with them? Well, it's sort of very complicated, and you'll think I'm jazzed if I tell you. You're what? Drunk. Are you? No, huh, I wish. No, I'm, uh, lost. It's a long story. Can you find the carvings? I have no idea. Well, I sort of need them. Hey, listen, if you find them, I'll pay you handsomely. Send me details, if you can. Here's my card. And if I can't? Well, I'm sure you can, sport. I'm sure you can. Francis Sinclair. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. But I don't understand. Why do you need these things? Well, I told you. If I told you, you'd think I was on the hooch. What? I'm gonna have a lie down. I don't feel very well. And neither would you. If... Eh, but, hey, what harm could it do? What a lunatic. These rock carvings are scattered throughout the world of Red Dead Redemption 2, and Mr. Francis Sinclair needs them. Now, they're hard to find, and you got to climb to the areas and explore areas. They're all over, and some of them are very difficult to find, so I'm going to show you the locations of these rock carvings one by one in the order in which I found them. The first rock carving and easiest one to get to is by Elysian Pool near Ansburg. And yeah, it's actually a very easy location. You gotta kind of climb up in this area and inspect this rock carving. And that is the first rock carving. Very easy to get to. And it's by the Elysian Pool here. Really nice area for hunting as well. Now I'm going to bring you to the second rock carving, which is relatively easy. The second one is further north, and it's a little harder to find, but I'll show you on the map after this. Once you inspect it, you find the second rock carving. I can move on to the third. And again, this one's a little harder to find. It's off a trail here that you have to climb up the side of a mountain to do. But again, once you find it, you're on your way. And it doesn't take a lot of time. I'll show you on the map the location right here. And then next is the third rock carving. Next rock carving is in New Hanover. And yep, you can see these rocks spelled out New Hanover. I found this and I never paid attention to it the first time I played through, but it's pretty interesting. 
and it's not too far from this area and as you see it spells new hanover but this is not where the lock the main rock carving is located i'll have to fast forward through it i just wanted to kind of show you guys this interesting thing near one of the main rock carvings I framed it between the two trees here, and yeah, you can see as the guy is riding by, it spells New Hanover, and yeah, that's kind of an interesting location. It's not too far from the third rock carving location, which I said I'm going to fast forward to once I'm done here, and I'll show you on the map where this is located. It's right where you can see the player location and again i'm gonna to have to fast forward to the actual rock carving Wild animals can be assholes, you know that? Yeah, that ram just knocked Arthur right off a cliff. Now, the actual rock carving location was a little further from the new Hanover sign, and you got to kind of walk down this path and walk around these mountains, and you'll eventually find it. it it's not easy. Like I said, these rock carvings are not exactly the easiest thing to find. Rock carving number three found, and it's right here on the map. You can see the player Again, it's these things are not that easy to find, and so hopefully I'm showing you the best way. It's kind of south of Moonstone Pond here. So on to rock carving number four. Rock carving number four, you have to climb up the side of a mountain, essentially, and there's a path you could probably take your horse, but once you get to this area, there's a specific path you kind of got to take, otherwise you're going to fall off the side of the mountain. And it's right here. You see this gap between these two trees? You kind of walk through it, and then down this path, hopefully you don't slip and fall off the mountain, and you walk along this ledge to find the rock carving. And yeah, it is not easy to find and i'll show you on the map once i have inspected the rock carving This one is really difficult to get to and hard to find, so I'm going to show you on the map where it is located. It is actually not too far north of Fort Wallace. It's by Bacchus Station, but you got to kind of go through and climb a mountain. Again, it's real difficult to get to. And Rock carving number five is just as difficult, so I'm going to go to that next. Rock carving number five is just as difficult as four. And you're on top of a mountain, and you got to follow a specific path. I'm coming around these two trees here, and right here is a little drop-off, and you just drop off, 
and you walk along this path to find the rock carving. Otherwise, you're going to wind up falling off the mountain and dying. Number five is found, and on the map here, it's right here by Cumberland, right kind of northwest of the sea and on top of a mountain. And like I said, it is extremely difficult to get to. You, yeah, you can see you, any little slip or wrong turn, and you're going off a cliff. And you got to start all over again. Yeah, like I said, you walk up this narrow path right here, and I'll let you just see kind of how narrow this is. You could fall off at any time, and if you take a wrong turn, you're going off the cliff. But you come up here, there's this drop down, and you kind of jump up and you climb up, and it's by two trees here, and you can either go by them on the left or the right. But as long as you get down that little drop down, you should be fine. So on to rock carving number six. Rock carving number six is actually easy to get to. And yeah, you just, I've been inspecting the rock carving and I'll show you on the map where it's located. It's very easy to get to. After number four and five, the rest are relatively easy to get to. They just take some time to get to. And here we go on the map, hopefully, right here, um, Wimyard Street. Yeah, it's very easy to get to. So on to rock carving number seven. Number seven is on top of Mount Hagen. And yeah, you got to travel all the way into the cold weather and up the mountain in order to get it. And again, it's on top of Mount Hagen. And I'll show you on the map where it's located. Once you get to the path that leads to the top of Mount Hagen, you have to walk a little, little farther and you'll find the rock carving. Number eight is on top of Mount Shane, and I believe right here, yep, there's also a UFO tied to it, but I digress. And this one, you can inspect the rock carving, and I'll show you the location again on the map once I have inspected the rock carving. Number nine is not too far from the camp of Horseshoe Overlook. And if you wander around too much, you'll end up back in camp. But this is rock carving number nine. The rock carving is not too far from Horseshoe Overlook, and it's just northwest of Flatneck Station. The final rock carving is not too far from several locations I've shown before. It's by the lake that is west of Strawberry, and this is here the final rock carving, I got to get it inspected first.
You can mail them in one at a time or mail them in all at once. I find it easier just to gather all the rock carving locations and mail them in at one time. Now on the map, it's next to Awanjila Lake near the other things I've shown before. But once you get this rock carving, you can bring the strawberry and mail them in. Looking to sell your wares or buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this town? Extra, extra right here. Well, back at last. I thought you might have hightailed it yonder. Okay, where's it going? That'll head out directly. We'll get it there for you. After a day or two, Mr. Sinclair will send you some stuff via the mail. You can pick it up at any mail station, and then he will send you another message a few days later. Ten dollars, Kentucky bourbon, and a rock statue. The bourbon you can sell to a fence, and the rock statue you can sell to a fence. I just kept the rock statue because it is something I earned. And now, the final part of this whole um, mission. A few days later, you will receive a message from Mr. Sinclair, and you can pick it up at any mailing station. And that message will be read after I pick it up. Welcome, friend. The message reads as follows. Uh, the carvings you found, the last of them. Oh, wait, until I show you what I've placed together, you'll think I'm a bit buttered. Please do not dally. Dally, I'm traveling soon and don't want to miss you. See you at my house a bit north, midway point between Awanjila Lake and Strawberry. Yours truly, Francis Sinclair. Mr. Sinclair? Huh? Oh, hello. Can I help you? Oh, I'm sorry for intruding. Uh, Mrs. Sinclair? Yes. How did you know? I'm looking for your husband. My husband? Yeah. He's dead. He's been dead since just before Francis was born one year ago. Your husband, Francis, is dead? No, this is Francis. My husband, Tom, is dead. Uh, I'm a little confused. Yes, I think you are. What was your name? Uh, uh, that's not important. Excuse me. The prevailing theory is Francis is a time traveler. And, yeah, you met baby Francis and adult Francis. Go back into the cabin immediately, though, and pick up the old brass compass because it's good for making a trinket. And then you can look around the cabin and try and get the first-person view. But there's not much here that you want to take. I mean, the food, everything, yeah. But the brass compass is important. And yeah, I somehow took a screenshot. But I got the first person view here, and I'm going to look around the cabin.
there you have it geology for beginners and all the rock locations if you found this video informative and you like it hit the thumbs up icon feel free to leave comments i do my best to respond to all of them and i like to hear from people and what they think if you like this type of video hit the subscribe button and bell icon i post four videos in relation to video games a week plus a short or two and you don't want to miss out as always i'm brad proprietor of our stool entertainment thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and thanks for stopping by